that um, mapping exercise along with our expanded screening that we did on Saturday is what allowed us to do what is a record in terms of number of tests conducted on Saturday. It's a total of 102 tests done in one single day. Um, most of those were from the mapping exercise from patient, as I said, number four. And we had said we were going to scale up the testing. Um, and so what we had done on that Saturday is we um, swabbed um, persons who were in the mandatory quarantine area in Corozal. That is what allowed us to identify a patient number five who remains asymptomatic in the mandatory quarantine area um, without any um, treatment. So that's patient number five. Uh, we also did further um, swabbing of secondary contacts, if you will, or not so immediate contacts of um, what we had uh, then as a patient number four. Uh, and those tests were run on Sunday. Um, that's how we managed to identify patient number six, who we have, we have established a link between patient number six and patient number four, but we still have not been able to ascertain where or who the first case was in that regard. And the patient number seven is a patient we swabbed because we had also said we were going to be swabbing people who were having respiratory conditions inside hospital facilities. So this patient number seven is a patient who had been diagnosed with community acquired pneumonia, initially managed in San Ignacio. And as per our referral protocol, he was subsequently referred to the Western Regional Hospital, which is where he was swabbed, uh, where the diagnosis was made. And he was sent on to Carl Huchner yesterday um, in case he would have required any ventilation support. Um, however, the last note I got is that he was not uh, in a ventilation, he was not under mechanical ventilation, he was on under supplementary oxygen, and that communication happens. Um, we can't lose track. So we have, therefore, seven cases. We have had one death associated to COVID-19. Um, one patient is hospitalized, and the other five patients are um, being managed um, primarily from home. And I'm saying being managed because patient number one and two uh, have remained virtually asymptomatic, as has been patient number three patient number five and patient number six. Patients one, two, three, and six are at home. Patient number five is in the mandatory quarantine area. Uh, so those patients remain, as I have said, virtually asymptomatic. If you go back also to our timelines, patients number one are, and two are being swabbed today, and that's um, to try to ascertain whether they are negative. And if you also will recall what we have said before, in terms of when you do, how do you declare somebody to be negative, it's you would have to have two negative results, um, which can should be in two consecutive days, or we had said we perhaps are going to be able to do it uh, not successive days because of the, to, we want to ascertain that people are in point of fact negative, but those patients are going to be swabbed today. Um, to find out um, if they are in point of fact having a first result that is negative. And patient number three should be swabbed through the weekend early next week because that's when the 14 days would have gone through.